Oh yeah. Hello, it's Sunday, August the 4th, and I'm still John Evans, and you're on the Small Town Network. I'm Scott Wilk. I'm Howard Hall. And you are watching Community News. Uh, welcome to all of you that are new out there. Uh, we're a weekly program. We give you local events, things to do, some local news when it happens. Uh, we got weather from WVLT every now and then, a, uh, a video from our good buddy Ben Cathy. Multiple Multiple. Video. Emmy Award winning meteorologist Ben Cathy. Um, you can hear the Rockwood train there. there. It it's uh, Sunday morning here in Rockwood. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, follow, uh, subscribe, depending upon what you're watching us on. Uh, also, don't forget we are available now on all the other platforms, or at least some of them. There's some others out there. But uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you're probably watching us. YouTube in HD. And there's our email address if you want to get a hold of us. Got to thank all the groups that share our program. It's like 50-something groups that uh, they span from all over the place. Well, we're, we're from Crossville out to all the different areas. But if you send us stuff, we'll put it on the show. We don't uh, reserve any... Any distances, like everybody is, is yard is, sales, yeah. anything. Yeah, if you got a, a yard sale, special event, if you got somebody in your family with a good anniversary, any of that, send us a picture, you video. Got, you got a picture that they don't want everybody to see, send it. Yeah, uh, those are, yeah. are perfect. Yes. Uh, yeah, but uh, but anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and again, thanks to all the groups that share us. We got animals from Roan County Animal Shelter uh, that we feature. Uh, glad that we do that now it's cool uh it's not cool it's hot outside oh, God. uh i was planning on going out on the roof here later and i think that's gonna probably kill me because it's hot i put out some weed killer wow. yesterday and i was out for about 15 minutes and i came in and i was it's like i've been in the shower oh it's so hot and humid but uh but anyway welcome to everybody we're heading into our first segment uh, which is things to do brought to you by none other than Mr. John Evans and Evans Financial. Yeah, Evans Financial across from the park, what used to be a park, somewhat a park still, but hey, in a new looking building, we're finally done, I think, with our uh, modifications we've made. Uh, that's a pretty good picture, but we've got some other awnings that are up now. So, uh, as always, hey, stop in and see me. We'll have a cup of coffee. We'll talk about the building. We'll talk about your investments and your future and that sort of thing. So uh, coffee's always available, and stop in and talk. Yeah. All right. Things to do, and this first segment is things to do this coming week. Uh, we have another segment later on this upcoming things later on in the month and weeks ahead. Uh, first off, at the Grove. Live music at the Grove. Monday, we got Carrie Hassler. Yeah. And Friday we got Mother, Mother Legacy. And yeah. That's at uh, 100 Stone Inch Drive in Crossville. Yeah, Central Times on all that for our friends in Crossville. Uh, important day in history. We dropped the very first ever atomic bomb uh, dropped in anger and war and on the Japanese uh, in the city of Hiroshima from the Enola Gay of B-29 on this date. August the 6th and 45. Yeah. yeah, parts of that built right next door here uh, yep. up in Oak Ridge. Uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff in Oak Ridge that'll tell you the history about uh, about that big boy and little boy and all that stuff. Oh, fat man, this was little boy. Yeah, so uh, so we got another part of this coming up later, but, uh, but lots of cool stuff up in Oak Ridge if you want to learn about that stuff. Uh, here comes a cool one, National Night Out. Yeah, at Jerome Kelly Park from 6 to 8. Uh, I guess they just want people to get out and see what the park has to offer and uh, that sort of thing, but uh, they got music and food and kids and they got some emergency vehicles going to be there to keep kids can look at and climb on so um, get down there and see it yeah it's cool that's actually a nation nationwide event where police and community get together and it's happening all through the whole nation on, oh. on that night so that's kind of cool uh, they be jamming still be jamming at the Bradbury Community Club from 6 to 10 on Tuesdays two bucks to get you in they do have snacks but for the same two bucks you get to play so take an instrument find a group and jam with them yeah and if you're into hiking uh, I don't think you'll be hiking there. No, no, I don't think they're going there. But <laughs> they are. They do have weekly guided hikes from the square at uh, Stonehenge Drive. That's the same address as the Grove, so it's all right there together yep. in yep. Crossville on Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 11. 
Yeah, and I always take the pictures that they share with their sites, but I'm pretty sure that's not CrossFit. I don't think that's CrossFit. We, we think that that might either be Mars. Or that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because yeah. they did send that one guy with the rover. Yeah, that's the dude. Yeah. <laughs> and he's looking for the rover. Uh, but anyway, yeah, go check and out. And it's that. sneaking up behind him. Murder um, is on the menu. Murder's on the menu. They're going to do, I guess, a play there at uh, Color Grounds Coffee House. And they are taking auditions if you want to be in this production. So yeah. get over there between 4 and 6 on uh, the 6th and the 8th. Yeah. If you want to be in that. Yeah, again, that's central time as well for Crossville folks. Uh, they be eating. Yep. As always, don't make your lunch on Wednesdays. Get over to Harriman and get in the food truck. We don't know who it's going to be, no. but it'll be good. Yeah, if you follow them on Facebook, they usually post it on uh, Monday or Tuesday. And uh, that way you'll know. And then uh, they be uh, producing some food. Yep. They be <laughs> farmers markets <laughs> there in uh, Cumberland County. It's their farmers market at uh, Peavine Road and Stonehenge Drive in Crossville. And it's 11 a.m. Excuse me, 9:30 a.m. to 12 Central. Yeah, go check them out. And again, if you have a new business, send us your info. But this is a new business in Etowah. Uh, they opened a couple weeks ago, but uh, I like to share them just because it's it's hard being a new business in town, and uh, getting the word out is not always easy. So hey, go down to Seven Treasures Variety Shop. And uh, I'm pretty sure they've had their 25 visitors by now. But add them on Facebook and Instagram. Go down and see them and tell them that you heard about it right here yeah. on the community. News. Anybody that's ever done anything like that, having people know where you're at and what oh, you do yeah. is the hardest thing in the world. What yeah. was the surprise? Especially in yeah. small towns. Yeah, yeah. I so, know. I mean, that's kind of what, one of the things we're doing here. So if you know exactly. somebody that needs to get it out, what they're doing and where they are, hey. Send them this way. Yeah. yeah, I mean, people have probably been, we've had some watchers. I mean, gosh, we've been three years now almost yeah. doing this. Uh, but that was why we did this, because we kind of realized that in these small towns, it was hard to market to areas. And because uh, the TV stations don't come out here, the radio stations don't aren't, aren't around here anymore. And uh, so there's no real way to pinpoint your area. So that's and that's one of the things, you know, if people got an idea and they can set up shop and they can build it. You know, people drive past stores all the time and they yeah. think, hey, all you got to do is just open your doors and people are going to come in and buy stuff. And yeah, it's not you, that easy. You know, yeah. You'll sit there by yourself for a long, long time <laughs> yeah. waiting for that to happen. So, again, if you've got a new business or something you want to share, hey, send us the information and a picture or so and uh, we'll get it on here. Uh, they be worshiping just down the street every Wednesday at across from the middle school there at the Presbyterian Church. They have adult Bible study at seven. Their schedule of events are Sunday school at 10 a.m. Sunday worship service at 11. Of course, the adult Bible study at seven on Wednesday. Uh, then the second Tuesday they have a women's association meeting, and the second and fourth Saturday they have the love kitchen meal and fellowship at four. Wow, that's a lot, a lot of stuff. They be cutting the ribbon still for the first time <laughs> again. <laughs> again, yeah. <laughs> at uh, well, 249 nail and lash. 429. And yeah, do what I say. 249. Yeah, transposing. Yeah, it's just down the street yeah. from 249. Yeah, <laughs> but that's at uh, Rome Street in Harriman. They're going to have their ribbon cutting at 11. And uh, there's, I guess, some examples of stuff they do, but they're going to yeah. uh, be over there with the chambers, going to help them open up, and yeah. we're going to help tell everybody where they are. Yes. And uh, they be they be gone. Yeah. <laughs> they, we dropped the fat man bomb on Nagasaki just a few days after we did the, the first one. Uh, and, you know, I think the, the opinion was that, hey, they don't have another one. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, and then we dropped the second one and they go, well, surely they don't have a third. And then yeah. a bunch of them said, well, well they might. And yeah. we didn't. You know, yeah. They were right in thinking that we didn't have a third, but I'm glad people didn't listen to them because can you imagine the cost of, oh. of lives to try to take that island uh, physically? That's what they were worried about. Yeah. 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 But and uh, if you think about it, it's those two atomic bombs actually saved millions of lives rather than oh, lives definitely. That Who knows where we'd be if that didn't work out the yeah. way it did? So, uh, definitely a significant day in history. Absolutely. First annual the first annual roan county fellowship of christian athletes golf tournament they be whacking the ball they do and uh, for the first time but yeah well i'm sure it's not the first time these golfers have played golf but for this tournament it is but yeah uh, for more information call them there at uh, 865 of course 765 
1003. Yeah, lots of info there, so don't forget to pause it and you can screenshot it and steal it. And don't forget, if you need any of this, we can email you uh, any of the graphics and stuff, the information uh, through PDF form. All right, they, they be jamming. In the uh, in the mayor's alley, they, they did this a lot last yeah. year. This is the first one we've seen this yeah. year. But uh, rock, maybe it's been too hot. But rock and roll in mayor's alley. They're going to bring you a chair and sit down and watch Milkman and the Big Band. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll bring, six to eight. Bring your Hershey syrup. That way you can make a chocolate milk. No. <laughs> That one, that, that one. They got, don't all land, but don't forget we have a money back guarantee. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, they be riding horses. <laughs> they do at the Ray County, Ray County Fair. <laughs> Boy, somebody's getting their money back today. Yeah, <laughs> Outlaw Rodeo <laughs> at seven thirty Central Ray County Fairgrounds. Yeah, go check that out. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, and they be having a market. They do. Uh, down at Sonic Daisy on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 11 at Post Tavern Park. And uh, another one that they be jamming at. That's over there at the food truck lineup at, uh, well, Long Island Marina. That's yeah. on the south side of the river. And uh, let's see, this is the Crave and K Town Burgers on Sunday. Yeah, next week. good, good food. And uh, today it is uh, A&R okay. Barbecue. That's right. That's right. So go out to Long Island Marine, 12 p.m. to 5. That's awesome. And uh, more produce they be having. The Lakeside Farmer's Market there in Kingston, every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12. Local produce. Yeah, that's a beautiful area for a uh, for a little Lakeside Market yep. there. Yeah, and go early because it gets hot by noon. Gosh. Oh, it's hot now. Uh, and then at, at Rome State. Jesse Adcock Memorial Roping. They be roping. They do. <laughs> Did they rope Jesse Adcock's? Is that what they, they do? He and don't like it, but yeah. it happens. And they recreate it there yep. in both arenas, and it's free to watch. <laughs> yeah. Contact that number there. They didn't give a name for the contact, and uh, don't forget if you don't want to contact that one, just call Diane. Yeah, she'll call Diane. She'll, she'll know. Yeah, she'll know everything. Uh, and they be having another farmer's market. Spring City has their farmer's market, and uh, they're going to have it on the 10th, and that's 9 a.m. That's Saturday, correct? Yes. Yeah. I, I had to, let me refer to my thing. Yep. Uh, but they, I think they still have room. If you want to set up and sell stuff, give them a call down there at that number, but it, it's 15 bucks to set up. Yeah, and then uh, this is cool, the Ducks Unlimited Poker Run. Yep, and it starts at Canyon Creek Marina in Harriman and uh, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's going all day on the 10th next Saturday. Yeah, and you can email that address at the bottom there for more info. Uh, we told you about this in our other interest segment last week, uh, but uh, if you're looking to be a volunteer, Main Support Foundation is looking for you. That's a really good thing, too. I mean, we talked about that last mm -hmm. week. I mean, it's a really, really good thing. But if you want to help out, they're actually training you as well. Yeah. So they're accepting volunteers, and they're going to train you how to deal with the horses and do your job. That's yeah. cool. Pretty and amazing, all the programs they do with the equine, like... It's like therapy. Um, they do that for people with PTSD, all kinds of different things. They have and, you know, horse some, treatments. A lot of developmental disorders and stuff. And, yeah. Uh, they say kids yeah. just calm out. And, uh, That's weird, huh? Yeah. Enormous animal like that. Yeah. But uh, very cool. And they also have another thing they're looking for people. Uh, for their Support Our Schools program. Yep, they're looking to hire for that, and that's going to be on Sunday uh, at New Hope Road in Rockwood, Tennessee, 2 to 4. Yeah, and there's an email right in the middle of that graphic. You can send them information. L all right, the next one, lots going on at our good friends at Rockwood Marina and RV Resort. They be doing a lot. Man, they're killing it all the time. they got something going on every day just about it looks like but especially friday saturday and sunday that friday they're going to have s'mores and pours saturday <laughs> look at that lineup create and sip i don't yeah. know what that is but it sounds good mm -hmm. you're going to throw make, axes you make it then you drink it maybe we were speculating whether they were going to have dodge axe but i don't think that's here yet yeah this is just actually throwing the axe and then they're going to have michael lane music at from eight to that looked weird didn't it oh what is it Eight to six. Or oh, like three, three to six. six. Yeah. That, that font made it look. Yeah. I looked at it. Eight me to too. Six. Me too. That's backwards. 
Yep. Maybe we just need younger eyes. Ah. But anyway, that's uh, next weekend yeah. at uh, Rockwood RV. And yeah, Lane. and there again, they're throwing axes at uh, Michael Lane. I think that's what it He's says. He's dodging them. Yeah, and, uh, and then they always have their Sunday brunch. Right. And, and it's always going for a good cause, and ne next weekend it's for Family Promise. Yeah, and then don't forget, right before that, you can uh, get your yoga on. Yeah, go to Fuel Docs and <laughs> bring you a towel. Yeah. And sign up at the office. Gas mask or something. Yeah. Uh, but that wraps up things to do this coming week. Again, stick around. we got more uh, things to do in the upcoming weeks and months ahead. Uh, now we're heading to Weather, which is brought to you by Roan County Animal Shelter. Uh, go check them out at 296 Manufacturers Road, right kind of in the middle of 27 there uh, in Rockwood. And these are the same animals we had last week because we didn't get updated pictures from them this week. But uh, we just wanted to give you a sampling of what might be available. Uh, there's Derry and Sandy. Can't promise that these animals are still no. there. No, but... Uh, uh, hopefully, if they are, go, go snag them. Ace. If Ace and Pamela are there, they need a home, go get them. Yeah, definitely. And there's Yasmin and Doc. I bet Doc ain't there no more. I would hope not. That's a beautiful dog. Yeah. Uh, all these are cool dogs. Barney Harley's and Harley. Cool. Harley's real cool. Yeah. He's a friendly dog. Yep. Yeah. He's, he's a good little Smiling dog. Smiling right there. There's and Connie. Connie. Connie's happy. And Bo, and, I think, is coming up. And you see their prices there. They're really good, really affordable. And hey, if you don't aren't, look, Bo. aren't looking for an animal, <coughs> don't forget you can uh, just go down there and help. You know, I'm sure they're looking for volunteers, donations of food, donations of food, cat litter, uh, all that kind of stuff. But go down and see them. You can even look for them on Facebook. Uh, they got a Facebook page as well. And don't forget, we now have a low cost spay and neuter clinic that's right here as well. So. Uh, so that is awesome. All right, now, as I always say, we uh, sometimes are lucky enough. Again, thanks to WVLT Channel 8 and especially Heather Haley and all the weather crew at f the first alert weather at Channel 8 as well. Uh, but every now and then, we are thankful to get a video from my good buddy, Ben Cathy, uh, who tells us a little bit about uh, what's going on. This week, he's going to tell us about the drought. Are we still in a drought? We've had tons of rain. Get him one, uh, one day just tell us about his Emmys. Okay, I'll have to do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's actually entered for some more. We did a mosquito package uh, together, and uh, he's entering that one for an Emmy, too. It's very cool. So would you get a second Emmy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, you but, got an Emmy? Am I the only one without an Emmy? I don't have one. No, okay. no. You can have an Aunt, aunt Emmy. I could. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we do have a video from Ben Cathy, and uh, Ben is going to tell us all about the, the drought. Are we still in it? We've had flooding, tons of rain, all that stuff, so are we still in a drought? Here's meteorologist Ben Cathy. Guys, I had rain in my house 17 days in a row. I was like, we're going to need a bigger boat or load them on two by two. We are going to see the pattern change a little bit, but most parts of East Tennessee, including Roan County, has seen probably around 300% that's three times normal rainfall over the past couple of weeks. Parts of Fentress County may have seen more than 10 inches of rain over the past couple of weeks. So the plants, they're loving this, but in some cases, it's creating a lot of standing water. Look at all these little mosquito larvae. They look like little inchworms and yeah, that is uh, gonna mean that Scott's gonna need to bring extra bug spray to the office and you guys are too. I have noticed a ton more mosquitoes and also, I've noticed more bats out there late at night going after them. Well, it's going to start to dry out, but don't forget, somebody's got to empty this standing water to keep mosquitoes looking kept at bay. For Small Town Network, the meteorologist Ben Cathy. Scott, give me the bug spray. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thanks again to uh, my good buddy Ben Cathy. And, uh, yeah, like, we got a lot of rain, but we're still in the drought. And uh, all that standing water did was make our uh, mosquito situation worse. Take a drill. A drill? Drill a hole in that thing. For real? <laughs> yeah, that's what we need to do. Uh, but now we are going with weather 
to my good buddy Howard at the weather wall. Well, there he is. That's right. So uh, evidently what you can see here is that we don't have any H2O in the forecast this week, which probably would what? Mean it keep it dry again still? Yeah. Down to the drought maybe. But uh, again, highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. And as far as Friday goes, a little bit more partly cloudy, a little bit darker. But anyway, local radar throughout the whole country, uh, Tennessee is still kind of sunshiny. Yeah. There you went. And again, we got to thank WVLT channel a and again download both the apps there's a news app and a weather app and both of those are equally awesome and can be programmed to your location uh, so that you get school closings weather alerts all that kind of stuff schools back in session officially fully uh tomorrow uh so uh, again uh so all y'all be safe download those apps so we know if there's traffic or weather that's going to delay you all right we're ahead don't forget hello yeah. you're good don't forget it may change in 24 hours. That's yeah. how we work down here in Tennessee. For real. The weather changes on a dime. Uh, heading into other interests, that's stuff coming up uh, in later weeks, upcoming weeks, not this week. Uh, brought to you by Bells or Be Alls or Bells with the second L silent. Hey, and they're hiring. If you're a good worker, not a bad worker, a good worker, and you're looking... For a gig, uh, they've got sales, which is retail sales, and they've got manager jobs available. So uh, they're looking for some good people. And if you want to have a good time, work in a fun environment, clean environment, and uh, cool, yeah, a cool-ish environment when the AC is working, uh, go on down there to Bell's. But uh, they got everything. If you haven't been there, go in again. Uh, if you haven't been in there a while, because it's all new management in there. And uh, they've cleaned up the store. It looks good. Don't forget, you still got like a week, I think, to donate to Rockwood High School. You can just go in there, drop something in that box right there. You purchase a backpack or anything school supply-ish, uh, and you can drop it in there. And uh, again, they got everything. So go on down there. They've got like home stuff, car stuff, guys stuff, girl stuff, kids stuff. There's toys. There's everything. Electronics. I mean, you name it. Nice, good pit stop. Yeah. To pick yeah. up something. I mean, you can get everything. You can get you a drink, a yep. snack in there. They got some little snackies. I mean, there's quick. If you need a quick birthday present, man, they got everything you need. Candles. You name it. It's there. Uh, but go down there to Bell's. We call it the Bell's Shopping Center right next to Walmart. And uh, there's Taco Bell, McDonald's, and all that right there. All right, other interests, which again is stuff coming up in the upcoming weeks. I just love that music. Uh, ribbon cutting for yeah. the Roan County Republican Party. The Roan County Republican Party is cutting a ribbon on their. Uh, their office, I guess, to, to help with the upcoming elections, but that's on Thursday, August the 15th at 11. Yeah. They're going to have a lot of lunch after that. We'll try to get that film, too. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, we're grand opening there. And uh, don't forget their puppy pool party. And again, they got a lot of rules, so make sure that you... Uh, yeah, you got to study that one. Yeah, uh, you don't just go running down there with your dog. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's going to be bad. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, especially if it, it's, it's amazing to people that don't know that their dogs are not dog-friendly. So some dogs ain't right. all yeah. They love people, but you put them in around another dog, they go crazy. Yeah, my but, dog's the opposite. My dog just doesn't like people. Like, uh, it just it likes everything else. Maybe it's the people that's around. It could be. Maybe it's me. Like you, Danny. What's that? The dog likes you, doesn't it? Frankie? Oh, well, she's still kind of half and half with me, but yeah, yeah she'll yeah, warm she up to me. Yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's, she barks at everybody for five minutes, and then she gets over it. But anyway, that's four to <laughs> six in Oak Ridge. Yeah, go check that out. Here's a cool one for Roan County Animal Shelter. Uh, Ride the Mountain Charity Run on yeah. the 24th. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's 9 a.m. and it's put on by uh, the uh, Kingston Boy Scout Troop. Uh, it says on this big graph, Troop 101, uh, and all the proceeds benefit the Roan County Animal Shelter. It's a charity ride. It begins at 9 a.m. It is not a race, so they're saying it's just to have fun. Uh, is that motorcycle or bicycle? or? Uh, I think it's boat motorcycle. I didn't There's see There's a that. picture of a motorcycle okay. on the okay. top left. Yeah, right. um, no, there you go. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but it starts at Smokehouse Bar and Grill. 
at 708 West Ray Street and uh, you can get t-shirts all that stuff so uh, you can even scan that little URL and again don't forget if you need that info we can send it to you uh, then they'd be rocking the ramp. Yeah, they've had this for the last few years, and it's always a big deal down there at the Tom Fuller uh, boat ramp. Mm -hmm. But uh, you get down there Saturday the 31st. Is that? No, it's not. Labor Day weekend? Is uh, that? I don't know, because it's acting like... See, it says it's annual Labor Day celebration. Yeah. So you, Labor Day might be early this year. It might be like September, September 1st, 1st right? or something. Okay, yeah. so it's just the day so, before. So that is the, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's unreal that we're already thinking man, about that. Man, the time goes by fast, doesn't it? Christmas is coming, just saying. Shh. Yeah, it's on its way, man. <laughs> but they're having a rat run on the mountain uh, at Swap Meet and bikers and against bullies. Yeah. It's, uh, that's a pretty good deal, too. Have you yeah. seen that where the... The kids that are getting a little trouble at school and people are picking on them. The big bikers go in and escort them into their class and make sure nobody. And then that, they get a little bit out of, real quick. They, they get a little bit of you know. No right in Here's little credit. Johnny that was getting beat up at school with his good friend Brutus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good thing. I've seen it. Happen, oh, absolutely. You know? And uh, but they're having that on September fourteenth. Yeah. 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 Go check that out and then. On uh, September 14th baby. as well. Matt Cordell is Elvis. Yeah, yeah baby. In Ottawa. Uh, come and see us. Even Howard's come to good see show. the show. It's yeah. a good show. Nobody does Elvis better than my buddy Matt Cordell. Tickets will not last, so that's why we're sharing this early. It's only 20 bucks for a ticket. You're not going to get a better show for 20 bucks anywhere. And it supports the Ottawa Christmas for Kids program which is a good kid uh, program put on by the uh, the local police department there. So that is very awesome. Again, that wraps up uh, all of those things to do. Don't forget, if you've got an event, uh, we'll tell you in a minute just how you can send that to us. All right, birthdays for the week. Brought to you by Six Little Teacups. Uh, we, they, it says they're in Chattanooga, but we call it Way South Kingston. Yeah. It's on 58 as you head down, but it's way north end of Chattanooga. It's really not even considered Chattanooga at that point. Uh, but you can go in there. She's always got sweets available. Or if you need something for a special business party or your kid's birthday party or anything like that, special wedding, you name it. She makes custom cakes, cupcakes, cookies, all that stuff. And it's all so good. Uh, and uh, from what I hear, it's uh, sugar free. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but she does offer like... <laughs> She does do some sugar-free stuff, and right. she does like gluten-free stuff, uh, which you'd be surprised, you know, flour is involved in all that. Yeah. Um, but, so all that's available. Ask her about it, and you can even have your kids have a tea party right there. Uh, birthday parties, just if you want to just have a back-to-school tea party, you could. Give her a call, 423-702-CAKE. All right, uh, I had to put this one in there, even though we aired it last week, but today is my good buddy, Vladimir Barchenko or something like that. Um, How do you get that out of that? I never know. But that's uh, the music you hear in the background is a group Uzori. Uh, Vladdy is one of those members and uh, he, he's still playing music. All of them are playing music almost daily over there in Ukraine amongst the craziness that they're dealing with. So uh, happy, happy birthday to Vladdy. Happy birthday. His group. Scott, does his, does his group do they even like concerts too and open for other yeah they actually and stuff? they they do stuff with the um, I can't think of what the organization but it's like the Philharmonic of Ukraine uh, they work with them but they get paid for doing shows and stuff too yeah, or half and half I, you know, I yeah. know they do get paid to do okay. shows but a lot of these things they're doing as benefits to get money for what they call the volunteers which is their army right but and you got to know that they were doing the international week or <coughs> thing at uh, Dollywood is it uh, I met them at Festival of Nations Festival, like okay. 20 something years ago uh. Uh, and been friends with them ever since. When they came in town, I spent a lot of time with them. Uh, but uh, they became like family. We, we celebrated Easter together, and I've kept in touch with them ever since. And obviously, when the war started, we've been cool yeah. trying to check with them. But uh, happy birthday to Vladimir, and uh, we are always praying for all my Ukrainian friends. And if you go back to some of the very early episodes that we did, we had some live video from there. We even had a fundraiser yeah. uh, called uh, uh, something like love for ukraine yeah. or something i can't remember yeah. uh, we had a gofundme it was really cool we actually raised like 
I think it was $1,500 or something, uh, which converted to a lot of Ukrainian dollars. Yeah. Um, like I think it came up to like thirty thousand rivian, and it went directly to the people rather than yeah. Going thanks to Theta at Simply Bank, which is now first something else. Yeah. Uh, we just got bought out or whatever. Uh, but Theta at Simply Bank, she uh, hooked us up. We actually had the money directly uh, deposit into an account in Ukraine, and that money immediately. Uh, they took and gave right to the troops. That's uh, great. It was really cool. So uh, go back and check that out. Uh, I think it was called Love for, Love for Ukraine or something. I can't yeah. remember. Um, but it was awesome. But Monday birthdays. Yep. Uh, if you're born Monday, you share a birthday with Neil Armstrong, the astronaut, and Maureen McCormick, who was Marsha Brady. Yeah. And that includes Angie Boston. Tuesday. You share a birthday with Alexander Fleming, Lucille Ball, and Andy Warhol. That includes uh, Mandy Klein and Steve Phillips. Wednesday birthdays. You share a birthday with Louis Leakey and Mata Hari, the spy from, I guess, the First World War. Uh, that includes Phil Nelson, uh, Letha Peters, and Lamar Brown, good friend, uh, Carson Newman buddy, great linebacker, and I became a principal of the schools down in Ringo. Oh wow, happy birthday to him, and then yeah. Thursday. Paul DeRock, Dustin Hoffman, Blanche Wheelis. Steven Regal and Toby Wagner. I have a birthday, it's Friday. You share a birthday with Whitney Houston and Melanie Griffith. Uh, that includes Ann Gibson. Yeah, and my aunt, Ann Wilk. And we were talking about the connection of Rockwood here with Melanie Griffith. Yeah. Her stepmother is actually from Rockwood, lived on Rockwood Street just down from Ridge. Uh, went to high school with my dad and my mom and people like that. And everybody around here know her, uh, Nanny to Green. And, and she ended up marrying Melanie Griffith's dad. They had a place down here on Watts Bar Lake. And coming up the next day here, yeah. You got her husband, Antonio Banderas. It's kind of odd they got yeah. sharing a one day apart birthdays. Yeah. But they've both been here on Watts Bar Lake visiting her mother. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, on that date, you share a birthday with Herbert Hoover. Of course, Antonio Banderas, it includes Amanda Gallagher Pierce. Diane Smith Phillips. Yeah, my old, uh, that was my uh, JV basketball coach, Ken Burns. Not the documentarian. No. Uh, Phyllis Pope, Jenny Huxford, Julie Williams, and Susie Justice Henry. And then on Sunday. Sunday, you share a birthday with Steve Wozniak of Apple fame and Hulk Hogan. Everybody knows who Hulk Hogan is. Yeah. And Joe Rogan, one of the greatest podcasters out there. Uh, I love his show. And it's Rhonda Odell Wittenberg and Jenny McNally Marks. Yeah, also Carol Silstra and Tracy Rutsch. Well, wrapping it up again. If you got a birthday special occasion, anything like that, if you got complaints, wisecracks, a yard sale, you name it, uh, that's how you get a hold of us. Yeah, I'll take it this time. Yeah. <laughs> you want your money back? I will pay it. Yeah. And it's if John's you week. want it, you got to get a hold of us one way or another. And one of the best ways, if, other than just coming to my office and say I want my money back, is to email us at smalltownnetworklive at gmail.com. Or, as always, the quickest, easiest, most cost effective method of doing that is message us directly on Facebook. Yeah, again, you hear the. Uh, oh, I don't know what I did there. Stand by. Uh, I hit a button. There we go. Man, we see you're going to make the mistake. Now more people are going to want their money back. I don't know. We're going to have to set I'm paying. We may have to switch that. Yeah. I, uh, that's right. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. I don't know what happened there, but again, you hear the music in the background. That's Uzori. And, uh, but yeah, so again, uh, don't forget to like, follow, share the uh, program. And uh, we'll see you again next week. If you got something going on, send it to us. Have good uh, school days. Be careful out there. There are going to be kids on the roads again. Come downtown, see what's going on. There's a lot of uh, people sprucing up and we're yeah. getting new stuff, so come see us. Yeah, I'm hoping to get out and do some painting and stuff this week on, uh, on my building as well. So uh, lots going on uh, down here in Rockwood. So for everybody here at uh, Community News, I'm Scott Wilk. I'm John Evans. I'm Howard Howell. Yeah, have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week.